Retro Rob's Gaming Videos. Hey Rob here, and today we're going to talk about the Pelican PL631 for the PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 1. It's a fight stick, but I think it's pretty good as a stick for shooters as well. Now, anyone who knows Pelican these days, they will know that nowadays Pelican is known as a company that does not have very consistent quality. But if you go back to the late 90s, early 2000s, Pelican was known as a company that didn't have very high quality. So <laughs> it's no surprise that this controller is kind of mediocre. What is great about it is the price. I think my wife picked this up at Goodwill for five bucks this weekend. So really pretty good. Uh, Let's go take a look at it, shall we? It is, again, for the PlayStation and PlayStation 2, which came natively with a gamepad. So it's nice to have a joystick. This is great for arcade games. Also, features all the buttons of a standard PlayStation joystick. Again, they claim this thing's analog. I, I don't see how it could be. Uh, but then again, documentation isn't real good, so it's kind of hard to tell. Uh, buttons on here. It is programmable, unfortunately, again, dur, 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 dur. <laughs> due to the whole I don't have a manual and can't seem to find a manual for a thing, I don't know how to program it. It has a turbo button, it has start and select, and it has a mode button. These little uh, blue things right here, they are slightly rubberized, not a whole lot rubberized, so they hold up well, as you can see right here. The joystick itself... Centers out nice, feels pretty good. It makes a bit of a squeaking noise if I turn it really hard. But it's not too bad for playing games. Uh, Button-wise, they sound okay. They're not uh, arcade buttons by any stretch of the imagination. And the size, uh, my fingers are kind of large, uh, but the size is not arcade size. It's larger than a PlayStation regular button, uh, but it's smaller than an arcade button, so it's not really an arcade stick. If you look on the bottom, it does have skid pads, but the rubber here as well is pretty tough rubber, so it tends not to wear out, but the bad thing is if you're pushing it really hard on a table, it's probably going to skidge. I'm going to guess it's going to dance around a little bit. I haven't tried that. Personally, I think the way to put it is right on your knees like this. This is a great view like this <laughs> there we go and I think it works pretty well as a fighting stick or as I use it an arcade stick for just setting on your lap it really feels good uh, many people comment on how odd it feels I don't mind it for arcade I can't imagine uh, I don't know a fighting game would feel really odd just because of the way the buttons are aligned but all in all, an interesting joystick that I thought I would share with you. Here you go. And it does, again, work on the PlayStation 1 or PlayStation 2. And here's the back. So, if you got like, you know, if you spend like 10 bucks on it, meh, not a bad deal. Especially if you're like me and you've got one of those little tiny PlayStations. I got the little PS1 with the little tiny screen. And you don't want some big honk and arcade stick to hook up to it. This works great. Just sits on your lap. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. Sorry it wasn't super informative, but I got some more coming out this week that probably are a little bit more. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more. See ya.